Right, so thank you so much. You are live on Tech TV, and we are at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And there is an important exercise which is going on at the Great Hall of the University here. It is the election of the Pro Vice-Chancellor's position. And the uh, election started uh, in the morning, and we're going to close at 2 p.m. We see a number of queue of lecturers who are actually going to cast a vote to actually select one of the three people who will become the Pro Vice-Chancellor of the University. University, but I need to talk to some of the executives to find out from them the, exactly the names of those who are contesting for this particular position. Keep watching Tech TV. All right, so thank you so much for joining us. We're still at the Great Hall of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. And as I said earlier, there is an important exercise going on here. It is the election for the pro vice position of the KNUS. And we have three people go contesting for this particular position. But I have an executive, and I would like to find out from her who are those people. Please welcome. Thank you very much. Sister, please, your name. My name is Sister Eugenia Ampofo. Okay, so what is your position? I'm a scrutineer for the election, the pro VC election. Oh, yes. Okay. So how many people are going for? We have three yes, we have three candidates. And these are Professor Ben K. B. Bamful from Horticulture De Department. Okay. Professor Rita Akosia Dixon okay. from Pharmacognisy. Okay. And Professor Charles Marfo from Modern Languages. Three of them. Okay. Yeah. So if I may ask, uh, for this election, what vote should a person get before you win? You have to get 50% plus one. So it seems like the national election? Exactly. To be able to win. Okay. So let's say, for instance, if none of them is able to get a 50 plus one, what is going to happen? We will have to go again. Probably the, the, the top two will have to contest again. Yeah, just to make sure that the majority is actually electing a winner. Yeah. Okay, so how many polling centers are we having here, or is it only one? We have one here and we have one at Confanoche. Okay. Yeah, so those, you know, the um, staff who are at Confanoche do not have to drive all the way here to vote. They can, you know, comfortably vote over there. And I also want to add that um, it's been very smooth, and with the, with the high tech, you know, we don't have to. Um, voters don't have to come and see anybody. They just walk straight to their booths and get verified directly and then vote and then pick up their, their printout and, and put it in the ballot box. Very, very smooth, high tech. Wow. And that is very good. Yeah. Wow. We hope you could extend it to Ghana okay. for our elections as well. Yeah. Because I can see when they come around, they don't actually talk to anybody. They just walk straight and they pass through and then they just insert their ballot paper. No, so uh, what time did the election start and uh, when are we closer? We start at, oh, actually we have already started. So we started at 8 a.m. and we'll, we'll close at 2 p.m. Oh. Yes. So if, if there's any staff and the person couldn't come at this particular time after two, it means that you cannot vote? Too bad. You are too late. You cannot vote after two. Yeah. So everybody knows that, and so they expected to come during the time for voting. Yeah. Okay. So when are we going to hear the results for this election? Ah, it will be soon after the the voting closes, because everything is high tech now. So automatically, somebody is in the strong room that is looking at the numbers. So as soon as somebody votes, it's already recorded. So currently, we know how many votes have been cast and all that. So as soon as it's closed. That will be announced very, very soon after. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so you can hear from right from the one of the main executives for this particular election. The election will be declared as soon as voting ends. So we're going to bring to you uh, the final results for this particular election. I am Emmanuel Nanaeboa, and I'm reporting for Tech TV. Tech TV, experience educational television.